got him. It is the fresh start of the week. It's Monday. I finally got to reset myself because I would use Monday as a rest day. Um, but now I'm starting my day one, well, chest and back, you know, first start of the week. It's week eight. We're doing chest and back. Lately, I've been thinking about changing my program a little bit because you know, I really like chest and back. But my problem is that I spend a lot of time doing eight exercises. 24 hours later. I mean, I, I enjoy it, but I don't know. I think I want to try something different a little bit and explore more of the traditional like chest tries, back and buys, um, legs, just arms. Um, but that means I think I'd have to train six days a week. I don't know, I'm, I'm still going to figure it out. But right for now, I'm going to stick to this week with the same routine um, with chest and back. But for now, we're going to do incline dumbbell presses. I'm going to warm up a little bit. But uh, fast forward to the, uh, the actual main sets. <sighs> All right. Second set, as I mentioned, I'm doing a more slow control, eccentric, but coming down slowly, hold on the stretch, and then explode. One. <laughs> Eight. Come on. Nine. I really felt this one where like, so if you kind of see how I'm angled, but as I'm coming down, it's almost like my, my knuckles starts to point outward. It's not straight up. When I point it outwards, it feels like a, it's almost like a fly movement, right? You're doing like this. But once I have it like that, I can feel it really stretch. Versus when I'm up here, I don't feel that stretch. But if I'm here, ooh, highly recommend doing that where your, your, your knuckles, once you reach to that down point, has, it tends to point outwards, stretch it and hold it, and you'll feel that stretch and it explode. Ooh. That was nice. Yeah, I was getting a little carried away of like wanting to increase my weights, like pretty much just jump and try to do heavier, because I was doing 85s for eight reps, but I noticed I was more like, sloppy with it and i feel like i'm not getting the muscle not targeting the exact muscle that i want which is the upper chest so yeah honestly i'm, I'm glad that i'm dropping back the weight and putting more emphasis and control on on the upper pec all right <laughs> to single arm back rows and this is for the, the lats here and uh, last week I did 60 pounds eight eight seven seven I'm gonna keep it the same 60 pounds I'm trying to go for eight 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 first set let's go Dude. X seven eight. Let's go.
Oh, my left side is a little bit weaker. I didn't, my last eight didn't feel so good. I feel like I'm finding different ways to A, speed up the vlog, but also be able to talk and, you know, share my thoughts when I feel like it. But over time, it almost feels like there's not much to talk about except the same thing about form, how's my reps, what's the weights. Uh, I want to make it more also engaging and just like entertaining. Sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't have to always be a ton of information. So, you know, I think I'm going to start, it's going to be a little different I and mean, you're going to see it, but I'm probably going to just show you guys my first, just my first set for every workout. And then it'll be, uh, I'll make the workout cinematic. Yeah. So I hit eight, but for now I'm going to make this cinematic. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy to think about how long I've been training for and in a sense of like when I first started, I was like, 2012 is when I basically just started not knowing anything. And like, the only way I, I was able to love it so much was because I had a random friend that was just like, hey, like, come train with me. We're going to do like, you know, the chest and tries, back and buys, the typical traditional bodybuilder workout. And like, I've never done anything like it before. And then I also took pre-workout for the first time. And oh my gosh, I remember like, you know, feeling that itchy feeling and I'm just like, oh, I'm like so focused. And and then from that point, it was just like, yo, like, I love this. Like, this is amazing. Like, so for those who are new into fitness or even who are currently doing it, and maybe you're losing a little inspiration because maybe you don't know what you're doing. You're just kind of learning online. Uh, having a workout partner that, that knows what he's doing and you're able to kind of follow along, you'll start to understand it better and it'll feel really good when you do a killer workout. Not to say that you can't do it alone. You know, for an example, I would say it's like, you don't know how to play basketball and you know, how do you learn? You have someone teach you, they really, hey, come play. Like I'll teach you as we go versus just like watching it from the outside, trying to analyze like, wait, how do, wait, what? That's a three pointer. Oh, that's a foul. Oh, that's a travel. Like it's hard for you to grasp really like what it's, what it's like to really, um, to play the game, to really know the game. So I kind of think the same as like bodybuilding. It's like, you kind of just don't know what you're doing. You're starting off just like trying different machines, but going through the motions, like, yeah, you feel the burn, but maybe you're not really feeling the intensity because you don't know exactly what you're doing, I highly recommend uh, finding a training partner, someone that you just meet in the gym and they're just like, Hey, yeah. Like, can I work? Can I like work with you? You know, in your program. And some people be like, yeah, I've had literally about two, three, four people do that to me. And I was like, yeah, dude, tag along and like, let's train. And then the moment they finish training with me, they're like, yo, like I never work out like this. This is amazing. And then they pretty much start being consistent over time. So I think that's a, it's a cool way to, to get inspiration when you first start. But once you get the hang of it, you'll pretty much love the gym it's being solo or with a partner. It doesn't matter. But yeah, it's my little, my little two cents. On to flat bench barbell press. You're doing five by five. Again, this is more powerlifting style. I like to include some strength at least. Uh, I did a plate in a 35, which is 205 pounds. So 
and I did five by fives completely. So this week I need to increase. Uh, typically I'd increase by 2.5 pounds, but I left the 2.5 in the car and I'm gonna attempt to try a five pounds increase on each side. So we're gonna be doing 215 and see how, uh, I'm gonna see how it feels. Cause if it's a little too heavy, then I might have to drop it. Or I might just stick to like three reps, five sets of three, we'll see. <laughs> Got him. That last one was risky. Yeah, I thought I was only gonna do three, but I felt pretty strong. It's crazy, like my mind was perceiving it way heavier, but then put on the headphones, put on some really hype music, and I was just like, let's go. And I feel like this, the first four was pretty solid. The last one was like a risky move. Uh, I just stick to four, but really happy with them. So it looks like I'm getting stronger. Other than that, let's make this cinematic. <laughs> it's crazy. I literally just decided to switch it up mid-workout in terms of why I'm always taking long is because I'm doing four chest workouts and four back workouts and I'm not supersetting them. So yeah, it's gonna take a long time. And then, I don't know, for some reason I just decided to look into Arnold's chest and back workout. I just Googled it just to see like what he did and it, it made it clear that he actually supersetted all of those workouts. That's why he was able to finish really fast, but also he did really high intensity, pretty much no resting. Um, but typically, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna start doing supersets with my workouts. It's gonna be more fast and efficient. So it's gonna be exciting. Bow. We're gonna be doing 50 pounds, 12 reps, 12 rep range, doing uh, four sets of these. Let's go. Well, we're doing chest fly machines here. Four sets of 10 to 15 reps. Let's see what we can do here. I haven't done this machine in a while, but I'm incorporating them back. Let's get it going. I'm really emphasizing that stretch right here. Oh, you can just feel that stretch. Gosh. Uh, 
Finish the chest fly and the lat pull down machine superset. And now we're going to do incline Smith machines. And uh, they might do three, maybe well, we'll see, three to four sets, but I could tell it's getting fatigued. I think three sets of these are plenty. Uh, and then we're going to do the seated back rows as well. It looks like someone's on there. So that's okay. I probably won't superset unless I can just get in there, but we'll see. Nine. Twelve. Thirteen. Holy oh, crap. 14, 15, 16, oh, 4 sets, 54 kilograms for, let's see, 10 to 12. <sighs> Solid. Now I'm gonna do some tricep supersets. So, 56 kilogram. Twelve reps, last set of incline bicep curls. Do this. <sighs> Eight reps, 35 pounds, pretty good, almost done. 24 hours later. I don't know how I'm going to 
fuse everything. Like maybe I'm going to mix some workouts together when I do the cinematic stuff, but let's make it cinematic. Hopefully you guys like this video. It's a little bit different from all the old ones. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Peace.